Welcome back everyone to more Monsters Inc. Scare Island for the PlayStation 2. It's Nintendo Gen 64 here. And today, we're gonna go into Hot Springs, which is the final level in the game. Yes, and uh, we're gonna play as Mike in this level, even though I played Mike as Mike in the last part. Uh, I prefer to play as Mike in this level because there's a few jumps that are very much easier as Mike. Very much easier? I don't know. Anyway, so yes, Hot Springs with the massive Monsters Inc. Uh, logo on the level. Yes. Anyway, so um, the gimmick of this level, which we'll see in a bit, is that these uh, these pools here, these pools of hot spring water, I suppose, um, are used to like get around the level, like water spout type dealies. And uh, that's mainly like the gimmick of this level. So yes, uh, I don't think the music fits at all, actually. I'm just listening to this now. It's like this weird faux rock kind of track. It just sounds a bit generic. And this is actually the last level in the game, I should point out. And this guy's making a... What's that? What is that? What's he making a sculpture of? Some kind of, like, bird? No, that's a fish, I guess. You know, for the last level, you would expect some really fitting ice music. Maybe something like, um... You know, very serene sounding, but it just kind of sounds lame and just generic. Uh, there's a Monsters, Inc. token there. So yeah, this thing here... Wait, it's... Okay, that's weird. You can't re... Maybe it's my graphical settings on my emulator or something? But... You, you can't really tell, but this is supposed to be like a water spout thing. And it's... Well, that's, okay, that's that's very interesting. I don't know why it's doing that. Maybe it always does that. Maybe that's the PS2 version, because you can still get up here, but like... In the PS1, it just like, looks like an actual water spout, whereas in this version, it's just this kind of... Um, I don't know what you'd call it, like hot air kind of thing. Which makes more sense, I suppose, because it's supposed to be hot springs, not like a hot water spout thingy. I don't know. Anyway, there's uh, two paths to go when you get up here, so I'm going to take... Well, I did take, I am taking currently the right path, I think? Or well, maybe it was the left, I can't remember. Whatever, it depends on what perspective you're talking about. Yeah, these things are trippy. They, I guess they just stay up there the whole time? Yeah, okay. That's weird, I'm not used to these. It's, uh, strange. I keep saying that's strange. Is that my, like, keyword of the day? Oh, and I fell down here. And, uh, is this... Oh, did I want to be here? Maybe I did, I don't know. I think there's a yellow nerve up there, so I want to, like, get a good stockpile. Okay, here we go. Get up there. It's kind of hard to tell, actually, where you're supposed to be, like, standing on it, or lying down on it. Anyway, let's scare the yellow nerve. Some nice textures on that rock wall behind me there. That's something that the PS2 version does very well, is the textures and, like, the... The Pixar style, I suppose. Like, the, it feels like you're playing a Pixar movie in the PS2 version. Whereas in the PS1 version, it feels like you're playing some kind of, like, lame, cartoony rendition of a Pixar movie. I don't know, I still like the PS1 version a lot, but I'm just saying this version looks ten times better. If not, you know, more times. I don't know. How can you measure the quality of times by... I don't know. What, what am I saying? I don't know. <laughs> what am I saying, indeed? That's what you get when you watch a Let's Play of mine. Just random, nonsensical verbiage coming out of my mouth. Oh, look, there we go. We're orange already. This, this could be my favorite level in the game. Like, I don't actually have, like, a real number one favorite. I do quite like this in the PS1 version, though. It's one of those levels that actually kind of feels like, um... It feels like something, I suppose. How is that supposed to scare anyone? I can understand that, but, like... Let's see, what, what's he gonna do now? Yeah, how can rubbing his stomach and patting himself on the head scare anyone? I don't know. Maybe just the sheer fact that he's a monster or something. Ah. Okay, so we're back at the start of the level now, actually. So, um... Hey, look, it's a, it's a bit of an interesting designed level, because it, like, wraps around on itself, like a circle, I suppose. And, um... Like I said, when you come up to this part here, there's two paths to take. Wait, can you destroy this, I wonder? Like, what would happen if I bounced on No, nothing. It's an indestructible ice sculpture. I suppose that mailbox there would say something. Well, let's, let's see what it was to say. Wait, how do you talk to mailboxes? Do you have to, like, bounce on them or something? Maybe it already did say it. I, I don't know. I never really talked to those mailboxes anyway. Okay, so let's go... I suppose this would be right, wouldn't it? Is that right? 
Um, there's an M token here, almost as any coin, so got to make this jump. You see, that's that's why I like to use Mike for this level because well, Sully probably could make the jump, but you just feel more comfortable making it as Mike. That could possibly be the only thing in this game that I would rather use a certain monster for than a certain other monster. Okay, square, 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 square. Circle, circle, circle. And X. It always ends in X for some reason. Wait, yeah, are those like little eyes or something on those uh, ooze containers? Okay, anyway, we got the bronze medal, so yeah. Anything else is in the backtracking. This will save now. See, this music it just does not fit. And that's that's last bronze medal in the game, so we are pretty much any percent of it now, because the next thing that we have to do is the uh, the final boss, which is the Arctic Pursuit. Uh, so we'll be doing that in the next part. And that's uh, then after that, it's all backtracking. So this is like the final level in the game. But if, if you're worried that I'm not talking uh, enough about levels, then, you know, don't worry, because there's so much to do in backtracking. In fact, in some levels, backtracking is takes up a larger time in the level than uh, the regular first playthrough, which I don't like. I, I hate the idea that you spend more time backtracking in a level than you would spend just regularly doing the level. That just doesn't sit right with me, I don't know. But whatever. Each to his own. So yeah, that takes us back at the start here, so there's no point just going back through and getting other stuff. Let's go through here, and uh, I'll see you on the other side.